right, grade fours, we are looking at the last section for today and we are looking at history and what makes a good leader. We're looking at leadership and the qualities of a good leader. Now, this is a bit of a tricky section because there isn't really a right or a wrong answer. Okay, most good leaders have some things about their characters that help them to lead other people well. Um, for instance, a good leader should listen to people and not do all the talking. He or she should respect others and be able to stand up for what is right. These are some of the qualities of a good leader. A leader is also somebody who guides a group of people. They need to be good communicators. They need to be good negotiators. They need to be good at organizing things. They also have to be able to manage their time very well. Now, there isn't really a right or a wrong answer. I want you to think of somebody who is a strong leader in your life, somebody who's a role model that you look up to. And I want you to think of the things that that person does that makes you want to be like that person. It could be your parents, it could be your teacher, it could be a religious leader, anybody. Chances are, if you think of things that they are like, the types of things that they do, those are good qualities of a leader, okay? I've got some things on, on the screen at the moment. I've got negotiate, inspire, guides people, has strong values, is an organizer, respects people, communicates well, listens, and manages the time. But it's not the only one, okay? Let's have a look at some other little ideas. A good leader is one who doesn't order others around, but who works with them and sets the order that they follow. So a good leader gets involved. They don't just stand there. In the picture on the right-hand side, you can see a boss stands at the top and tells people what to do, but a leader gets involved and helps people with what they need to get done. Now, there are some examples of people who are good leaders. For instance, policemen, okay, or soldiers, or anybody in armed forces. They take control. They make sure people stay true to the, their principles. They, they follow the right path all the time. Visionaries, in other words, people who have great ideas, who lead um, the world in terms of science and technology and things like that. They inspire people. They help to, other people to think of new ideas. They like to see solutions. Teachers, and you're surrounded by fantastic teachers, so teachers offer good ideas, they encourage, they help, they lead people, they, while they're trying to teach their lessons, they're motivating their students. And then we've got healers, and this could be doctors, it could be psychologists, it could be a physio, all sorts of people who help you and, and make you better. They understand fears. I mean, when you go to the doctor and they want to give you an injection, you might be a little bit scared. And a good doctor, a good leader, should help you just relax a little bit and calm you down a bit. Also, they help people in difficult times. Sometimes they see you at your worst when you're most scared and possibly very hurt. And they help people through these difficult times. And they also help people resolve differences. If we think of psychologists, sometimes some families are in a bit of a, a difficult time. And they help families communicate with one another and they help sort out any issues that are there, any problems that are there. And all of these things that I've mentioned are examples of good leaders, the qualities that a good leader has. Now, your teacher might ask you this in a number of ways. They might say to you, um, explain what a good leader does. They might say to you, explain why a doctor is an example of a good leader. Or they could give you a little case study, a little story about somebody. And then they might say to you, why, what examples in the story do you see as this person being a good leader? Then you have to read the story very carefully and think about that role model that you had in your head and the kinds of things that that person would do. And then try and see if there are any of those in the story. You can't just say the person's a good leader because they listened well if that isn't in the story. So if it's a case study, you have to look for examples in the story. If your teacher just says to you, just explain to me what a good leader is, then you can list all these different things and what a good leader is. Good luck.